It is already the end of June, and here we are on the Selling with Love podcast. Very excited to have you coming in for our solo training episodes. We've been releasing this for over three years now, and so excited to have you come in, join, get your nugget of wisdom every single week, whether it comes from me or the incredible guests that I bring along on the show. If you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to like and subscribe. We're growing the channel and bringing you more and more amazing guests. And the more of you that come and join and support the channel, the bigger the guests, the more interesting the insights, giving them all a little twist with a selling with love perspective. And if you're subscribed to the podcast, of course, take the time, leave a review, whether you're listening on Spotify or Apple. These reviews does wonders to let other people know what to expect on the podcast and support us to reach more new faces and ears that want to tune in in the process. With that being said, the simple insight for today might not be as related to sales as usual, but rather in the spirit of the time being the end of the month, I want to speak about why having your cadence of goal setting and goal reviewing is so important if you're going to be acting like a business. And that of course comes back to, you know, the thing we did when we were children, right? As we're growing up and you want to start having a few more freedoms, a few more liberties, maybe you wanted to go and stay out late some evening and parents would set a curfew on you and they'd say, no, no, you have to be back by this certain time. And there was one thing that you would demand to be treated as in return as you are growing and pushing your limits is you would scream and ask, I just want to be treated like an adult. And parents would always smirk, possibly reply with what would be the best cheeky response to such a demand, which is, if you want to be treated like an adult, you must first act like one. If you've been trying to get your business off the ground or you've already got a few cycles in, then perhaps it is time that we think about some of the best habits you should have as a business so that you act as a business. Because... The mindset about operating as a business owner is very different than as an employee. For those who have been on the journey long enough would be very aware of that. And one of the key things is that you will not have external outputs that come directly from perhaps a boss or a manager that tells you what are the next things that need to be done, nor is there anybody else there to paint the vision of what is the most important thing. A quote often referred on many conversations about Dorothy coming to a fork in the road and asking herself which direction I should go. And if you don't know where you want to go, it doesn't matter the direction you are headed. And if you're in this habit of reacting to every little thing that needs to be done without a proper plan or goals putting you in the right track because a vision is pulling you forward, then you're running blindly and reactive and we don't get to be proactive. And of course, this comes at a time where the end of the quarter is here. It's a great time to take a moment and step back and think, what have I done in the last three months? Take a step back. What were the lessons learned? What are the things we set to accomplish and have we done those things? And if you haven't set goals in this fashion before, then this is a fresh time to just think about it more openly, perhaps up to the beginning of the year, just like, okay, we've reached the halfway mark. Did I have goals for this year? Did I accomplish things that I'm proud of? Are there things that I should have done differently? Did I learn anything? And as these lessons come in, It is a great time to start thinking, what do I want to have the rest of the year look like? And what are the things I need to get done now to make sure that I am on track of getting those done? So if any of you want to go deeper into this goal setting methodology, it is a bit of a short notice, but I am running a training that will be walking people through how to set some goals. I'm setting it aside for two hours and that's absolutely free as a thank you to all the listeners and people tuning into this podcast. I'll put a link into the show notes if you want to attend this. And worst case, if you can't make it live, register anyway and I will send you at least the worksheets that we use so you can do these exercises on your own. But the format is quite simple. We reconnect with the vision. We look at what happened in the last three months And then for the upcoming rest of the year, we start with a three-month perspective. Every business has a quarterly cycle. And that's why when you hear Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, is usually a business term because it's a great way to strategically plan. And as such, one month isn't long enough for something significant to be accomplished. But in three months, we usually are able to set bolder goals and adjust as we go. So we start with setting some three-month goals. And it shouldn't be a long list. Most companies die from indigestion rather than starvation, meaning when we chase too many birds, we end up with none in the hand. There's a witty expression about that, and I don't remember at this time, so we'll skip it for now. But nonetheless, 
the better focused you can be on one, two, three major goals here, the better it's going to align your actions for the month to get you to that goal. And the bigger you can think about that goal and being focused, you'll be amazed by what you can accomplish in three months. As such, once you've anchored yourself with a three month goal, you take the time to go back into the month and think what's the most thing I need to accomplish this month to bring me closer to this three month goal that I've just set. And as such, you should be able to break down for that month what happens week by week and a whole set of, call it consciousness, needs to be applied on this goal setting exercise. If you're just tuning into this podcast and listening in, there's nothing new I'm teaching you right now. And if you're joining this webinar, we're going to spend two hours together, not for me to lecture anything new about goal setting, but apply what I would say conscious thought towards what is important, what is not, so that we can stop feeling like everything needs to be done with this energy of fight or flight, but rather be proactive, aware, and conscious about where are we headed and what actually is going to get us there. And perhaps this is going to be a point where you start realizing many of the things I've been doing are not working. I know every time I do a quarterly review, I learn something new and there's usually more things I need to let go of as opposed to add to my plate. But I get one step closer to making the vision more vivid every single time. If you're not crystal clear on what's the ultimate goal, the massively transformational goal or purpose and all these terms that seem a little intimidating when you start getting into these habits of goal setting, at least set something that you can align yourself for, even if it's fuzzy. I remember initially I was just thinking, well, a goal would be, let me put myself out there to get my personal brand and maybe share a message that can help a few people in the world. Didn't know what that message was, but I just said, I'm going to make a conscious effort to at least build this asset. And with technology coming up, AI, we're wondering what's going to be the essence that's going to be left of us as individuals. And more than likely, I feel it's going to be our personal brand, our personal connection, and the way people relate to us as individuals, because everything else will be automated. So knowing this, I've set on a journey. And year after year, it gotten closer. I was able to learn my message in the process, which was the selling with love, not without a few detours and discovery steps. I mean, for those who are early listeners to this podcast know, it actually first started as the Superhumans at Work podcast, which was published by Mindvalley. And this was a step on putting my brand out there as I did not know exactly what was that one thing I stand for. And it's only in the pursuit of various goals that got me a step closer into a certain direction to know, am I in the right way? Am I maybe slightly deviated? And then take corrective steps when I do the goal alignment exercises. It's something I do quarterly. I'd invite you to join me on this session if you have a chance. Again, the link is going to be right below in the description or in the show notes, depending on the platform you're listening to this. And I would love to be able to walk you through this exercise because it's helped me so much getting clearer and clearer on what is the thing that I stand for and how to align my content accordingly. It's a painful exercise, especially when you realize there's more cutting than building that needs to be done. But it is what is necessary as the beautiful garden will look so beautiful as you take the time to pluck out the weeds. And a goal setting exercise will allow you to do just that so you can focus on making sure all of the energy goes towards the right roots for the right flower for it to bloom. Thank you for tuning in to the Selling with Love podcast. I hope to see you on the training. And if not, I'll see you next week with another incredible guest joining on the show. Take care. And once again, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, take a moment to do so. Send a like. Really, really supports the channel. And of course, if you're listening on the podcast, take a moment to leave a review. It would mean so much to me. Matter of fact, if you do take the time to do so and you've taken the time to listen towards the end of this podcast, I will send you a free autographed copy of Selling with Love when you send me a copy of the review that you've left. As such, just take a screenshot, send it over to my email, which is jason at sellingwithlove.com. Tell me I want a book in the subject line, and I'll have that sent to you as long as you include your address. Thanks for tuning in. And until next time, keep selling with love.